them all. Well, who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But <clears throat> they were my friends. My teachers. <sighs> Welcome to the real world. Clean water is a luxury. Maybe you're better off not wasting water on fish anyway. Uh, I don't blame you for not understanding. You would have to spend some time with fish to understand. My fish! My precious fish! <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water... They were my friends! My teachers! Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I, I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows? How many fish are left? <clears throat> Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I needed to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <clears throat> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, uh, how, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. Uh, they don't mind being stared at all the time and aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, I could go on and on. But I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore, and they're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but uh, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank. They don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It 
causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Thanks. I really didn't want to die like that. Inhibitor 
You're here. Good. You were right. It was a trap. Yeah, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there, but be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Remember, PK's got... Juan is taller. Fuck, that's not what I meant. Max, a military genius. And he's cooking at ten times the best one. shit.
You can tell me. Heck, I'll even put in a good word for you if you want it. You know. <sighs> Tower. It's unoccupied. Ada wants to take control of the water and force the reserve to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. You must watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that. It's taller than I thought. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Get what they deserve. They will die. Jack! Got it! I'm warning you. And the water is safe. After all, we can. <sighs> of course, they'll fuck us up. Either the bizarre jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole! Hey, who's there? Stop! 
But we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear! I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city safely. I help me, and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker. Gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in as among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So... Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town, but first I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay, we'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. of the city with some buildings dating back to the 15th century. Its name comes from the shape of the walls that bordered it in the 17th century. The district is also home to the Water Tower, formerly the Bell Tower built out of a military outpost. Its small winding streets bear odd names whose origins have faded with history. It's the home of the last craftsman's workshops and antique stores. The spirit of a bygone era. The greatest poets sought inspiration in Horseshoe, and their souls soar above its rooftop still. Perhaps, brave traveler, you too will find inspiration here. Today, Horseshoe is a favorite meeting spot, especially for lovers. I, myself, once met a match from a dating app there whose bio said he was a 30-year-old dolphin trainer with the body of a Greek god. Unfortunately, the man who appeared was a 50-year-old vacuum cleaner salesman who brought his mother along. The date was a bust, but at least I was able to buy the latest Turbo Duster model at a killer price. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water?
Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. That ain't no proof. Oh, this place is a pigsty. Thing. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon! I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks! What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Norrin! Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> You're done for, Aiden! <laughs> 
Where's the girl? She wasn't here. She hasn't shown her face anywhere for a good couple of hours. Do, do you know what it means? He wanted to show off. Son of a bitch wanted to prove that he killed Lucas. So you're a cannibal now or some shit, Barney? It wasn't me! It's him! He framed me! Okay. We're taking him to the station. He'll give us the whole story soon enough. You did good, Aiden. Meet me in my office. Time to fulfill my end of the deal. Such well kept You killed the commander. Where'd you get the idea? Your sick head? Or from your little sister? Fuck you! I hated the guy more than most. But even I'm not stupid enough to have killed him. You know, whenever I catch someone, even red-handed, they deny it till the very end. Maybe you are stupid enough to have done that. Maybe you're a moron, even. <laughs> you trying to piss me off, so I kill you right here. No, 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 no. That's not my game. You're gonna be tried and convicted. Why did you carve out his tattoo? I'm telling you, I don't know, because I didn't do it. I go crazy sometimes, sure, but I ain't no fucking psycho. Oh, you're the biggest psycho I know. 
I bet someone ordered you to kill Lucas and you had to bring them proof. Simple. Focus, you fucking PK. I told you, it wasn't me, understand? Prove it. Fuck! Even I know asking me to prove a negative means you got nothing. Don't they teach you that in PK school, you fucking fuck? Waste of time. So you kill Lucas. What happens next? I don't know, asshole. I didn't do it. it hurt me, and I'll take revenge. But I'm not a cold-blooded killer. Forget it, Aiden. Punks like him just want to cause chaos, their favorite flavor. We're done here. This idiot won't tell the truth. Why would I lie? I have less gain by lying to you than I did if I'd killed Lucas, which I didn't. Don't expect rational thought from anyone who needs a separate break just to control his sphincter. You're the one talking out of his asshole. Give me a fucking break. This piece of skin is evidence. Solid evidence. Let's not waste any more time on this piece of garbage, Aiden. He'll get a trial, followed by a death sentence soon enough. What about our agreement? It still stands. Go to the metro tunnels. I'll meet you there after we've disposed of Barney. But there's one more thing. I need a favor. Well? Once you get to the center, my wife and kids are there. Will you give them something for me? And tell them that I'm safe? You don't have anyone you trust more to handle this for you? Maybe I don't. As long as this isn't arsenic and you're not setting me up. It's not. Your dress is on it. 